Hello everyone, welcome to the video today. We're going to be opening up an Arduino starter kit. And so in this video, I'll be explaining everything that's in this kit. Most of this kit is basically the same. I will have basically the same type of components you would get in most starter kits. And so we'll go ahead and open it. So I'll just open these and then we open it up here. And as you can see, you have multiple different components here. Uh, there's also components under the tray as well, which we will explain as well. But first we're going to explain these components, what these components are. And so the first component that I will explain is this component right here. Now most of the times you may get the Arduino Uno, but this is the Arduino Mega, which is basically a more bigger Arduino compared to the Arduino Uno. It has more pins, it has more storage to store your code and other great features about it. This is like a much bigger Arduino, especially for bigger projects. And this is it upside down. It's an Arduino Mega that's made in Italy. I'm gonna put this right over here. Okay, and now the next component is this right here. I already took it out of the case of the wrapper right here. Uh, basically, this is a LCD display. This LCD display does not have pins on it. Of course, the pins come in the kit that you have to solder yourself. Most of starter kits come with the pins already on them, which is great, so you don't have to solder them. But in this case, it doesn't. Um, but it doesn't take a lot of work to solder them on. But yeah, this is the LCD display where you can uh, print the text on this, and so you don't have to actually use the serial monitor. So we'll go ahead and put this right up here. And then right here, we have 330 ohm resistors. As you can see, maybe I should flip it around. Like you see right there, 330 ohms. So these could be used for LEDs. That's most likely why these are in here because there's LEDs in here that we would have in the kit. So we'll go ahead and place those right there. And then all of these right here, we have multiple displays. This is the eight by eight um, LED matrix right here. So this is what this thing is for. We just take it off the pad here. And you can see it just has a lot of pins and I'll be showing you how to use these in the upcoming tutorials. And then we have a couple eight segment displays as well. This, this is the eight segment display itself right here. Just one eight segment display right here, as you can see, and this is upside down. And so yeah, and then this is full eight segment displays together all in one segment. So yeah, and this is it upside down and things like that. And then we have the 74 HC 595 shift register. This is just like for LED displays like these. All right, here in this case, you may use this because sometimes you may not have enough pins on the Arduino. If you're not like using the Arduino Mega here, you would use probably something like this if you're using the Arduino Uno because maybe you don't have enough pins to connect all of these pins that are on the eight by eight matrix. So you would use something like this, which will give you an extra eight pins that you can use for the eight by eight matrix or the eight segment display. So we'll go ahead and put that back on the board. Now we'll go ahead and place it over here. Okay. And now I'll move this over a little bit more so we have more space. And so this right here is basically like a card of like with the colors on the resistors, you can detect what the value of resistance it has. So as you know, like colors on the resistors, they mean a certain value of resistance and this card shows what each stripe of colors means on the resistor. Uh, so yeah, that's what this is for. Very helpful. So I'm going to put that right there. So now I'll come over here and this is right here. There's multiple components in here. So I'm going to go ahead and try to open this up right here. We're just going to open up the bag and then just get stuff to come all out. And so this is all of it right here. So we have two infrared sensors, they detect light. And so basically they change their resistance based on light. So you can make like something to detect how much light is around it with the Arduino. So very interesting project to make. So I'll set those right there. And then these right here, two of these, these are vibration sensors and also can be known as like a tilt sensor because they like, when they tilt over, they no longer give a high signal. And when they stand up, they give a high signal. So we have two of those. And here is an infrared receiver. It's kind of like receives infrared light from remote con controls and the remote con control is actually in this kit as well. So you can use this for remote controls and use a remote control with the Arduino. And so this helps you with that. 
So yes, that is what this is. And then we have an infrared LED, kind of the same thing as this. They're both similar, but this one can be for detect fire. And so that's what this is, kind of like a fire sensor. And so yeah, we have that type of LED. And then this is a temperature sensor. It kind of looks like a transistor. And the middle pin gives us a value based on how warm or cold it is. So we'll go ahead and place that there. And then uh, as well, I forgot that this is a no infrared sensor. So actually we get three infrared sensors in this whole entire kit. Now this right here is the silver. And let me go ahead and take it out of the bag right here. This right here is the silvo. As you can see, it's a very small silvo. And so basically what's a silvo? A silvo is basically like something that can move and then you can set, the Arduino can set how far or what angle it wants to turn it to. And so very useful. And then you can mount these as well on the top right here. So I'll go ahead and place that right over here next to this. Okay. And so now we have multiple resistors here in each in every case here, rather common resistors. This is a 220 ohm resistors right here, 220. And these are very useful for also LEDs as well. You can use these with LEDs. So I'll put those right there. And then we also have 10K ohm resistors. And then we have 1K ohm resistors as well. And now we're gonna go ahead and lift up the tray and so now the first thing we have here is we have this right here. This is a shield for the Arduino Mega. And it's also shields for the Arduino Uno. You may end up having one that is somewhat similar for the Arduino Uno, but this one's for the Arduino Mega because as you see, we have gotten the Arduino Mega in this kit. And it comes with also a small breadboard, which you can mount on here if you want, instead of actually having starter components on here. So this is like, so that it's more stationary and it's more of like a project that would stay still and not move around too much if you actually put it on a, sh a shield and mount this shield on the Arduino Mega because as you can see it goes right on top of the Arduino Mega. So I'll go ahead and put that right here. And then we have all the LEDs. Uh, here we have five blue LEDs, five green, and five red LEDs right here. So these are very useful for starter kits as well, uh, mainly always in starter kits. Then in here we have some, here we have an active buzzer. I believe this is an active buzzer. It makes a consistent sound whenever you power it up. And so yeah, that's what a passive buzzer is. I'm gonna put it right over here. And then we have some buttons here. We, I believe we have five buttons in this case. And so we'll go ahead and put this in here. And we have another button right here. I'm just gonna put them all right here. And then these are the caps. So you can put the, these caps right here on top of these buttons right here. Kind of difficult to put them on, but you can put them on and mount them on the buttons. And so then now we go ahead and put more. We have some more things. We have like the potentiometer. This is adjustable resistor basically. You can change it and it gives you a different resistance. So this is very important if you like, you want to bright up the LED a certain brightness, you could use the potentiometer to choose which brightness you want. So a very useful component and a very popular component to have in a starter kit. So go ahead and put that right here. All right, and then we'll continue. And then we have the passive buzzer. The passive buzzer can actually set specific tunes. That's the difference with the, com and the active buzzer just gives you a constant buzz. You can't change any tunes, but the passive buzzer can actually make different tunes and things like that. So very interesting. So I'll go ahead and place that right there. And then basically everything else is in here is more buttons and more uh, button caps that you can put on the buttons. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put that over here. Okay, so now let's continue. Here is the code for the Arduino Mega. So this goes with this over here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put that right here. And then right here we have a battery cap, basically for the nine volt battery. Sometimes you can, this whole thing may come with a nine volt battery that you can put in here and then plug this into the Arduino Mega because the Arduino Mega, if you see right here, as you can see right here, it has like a, a port that you can plug this in that which then the nine volt power, uh, battery can provide power to. So we'll go ahead and take this out, put it over here. And so next we have the wires. These are like a wire strip, basically they're connectors. And so it's very useful if you want to connect like 
for example, maybe this temperature sensor right here. You connect each pin into one of these things and you can connect the other side to something else. So yeah, and I'm gonna go ahead and place this all the way back here. And so then here is the remote control. So this is actually for the infrared, infrared receiver right here. So these both things come together. There should be a battery in here that you can use and you can use the remote control with the Arduino. And so I'm gonna go ahead and put that over here. There we go. And then we have the step motor, a very popular and common component to have. And this is a five volt DC step motor. The step motor is like, is somewhat similar to a solvo, but a solvo can go to a certain position. And the step motor can only make steps and rotates in steps. So if you want precision on how far you're turning or something like that, or how fast you're turning, the step motor is very good in this case to have. So yeah, I'm going to put the silver back and put the step motor next to it right here. And so now we'll go ahead and here is the step motor driver. This is useful to have for the step motor. It connects into this component right here. And then you connect the pins that are on this driver to the Arduino, which then you can control the step motor with. So I'll go ahead and put that over here. So then here are more jump wires, which you can connect with the breadboard that we have right here. So yes, we can open up this right here. And here's the breadboard, as you can see, and we can connect all these pins onto the breadboard. Then we can connect it to the Arduino and do all sorts of things with it. And then we have some connectors that which we can use to solder some components here that have not been soldered yet, like the LCD display, things like that. In your kit, you may not actually need this because everything's already soldered. In most cases, that's the case. And so then, which is kind of like a component box. So this is where you can keep like resistors and things like that. Some kits don't come with this, but in my case, one does. And so basically, this is the whole entire kit right here with all the components. And so if you like this unboxing video guys, consider subscribing. I will be explaining all these components in the future and making tutorials based on every last one of them. So stay tuned and I hope to see you guys next time. Have a great day and bye.